What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're looking to have some fun with it. We are rocking out with a Zassian team that features Hat Pikachu. You guys heard that correctly. Hat Pikachu. We got Pikachu with a hat on. It's pretty much just Pikachu with a cool cosmetic look. But hey, we're rocking out with this Pokemon. But this Pikachu right here, looking like a lot of fun, considering it's got Lightning Rod and a Light Ball, making it do an insane amount of damage. Furthermore, it's got Fake Out, Protect, and Helping Hand for support. So what we can honestly do is go into Pikachu and Pelipper. We got Pelipper on today's team. Set up a Fake Out, go into Tailwind, and then have Pikachu outspeed and do massive amount of damage with Thunder in the rain. Sounds like a pretty cool combo. But our restricted Pokemon, like we already mentioned, is going to be Zacian. Zacian's in the top left-hand corner with the Interpret Sword and the Rusted Sword as its item and ability. It's Rock and Play Rough, Iron Head, Terra Blast with that stellar Terra type. Last but not least, it has Protect. Another big time hitter on our team is going to be Shen Pao. Now this Shen Pao is built a little different considering it is rocking the Chewy Scarf as its item. Chewy Scarf is going to make it outspeed Pokemon such as Chewy Scarf Kyogre or even Shadow Rider Calyrex. The Shen Pao has Ice Spinner, Sucker Punch, Icy Wind, and Sacred Sword. Our final two Pokemon that we haven't talked about yet is going to be Gouging Fire and Basic Legion. Gouging Fire is going to be a great Pokemon to hit hard and drop physical attack with Breaking Swipe, and Basic Legion is going to pair up perfectly with Pelipper, considering it has Swift Swim as its ability, doubling its speed in the rain. Guys, you want to run the scene for yourself? Rental code is at the top right hand corner. And if you do enjoy today's video, make sure you leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel. But without further ado, let's hop into our first match showcasing the Sassian and Pikachu team. First match coming at you guys, and we are going up against a Shadow Rider Calyrex and Lottie O's team. Furthermore, they have Arachnid who thrives out in Trick Room. They got Rillaboom, Shen Pao, and Amoongus. For our lead, we definitely want a Tailwind Setter. So I kind of just want to go into Pikachu and honestly just go into Pelipper. I think that's going to be good for us. If they do go Shadow Rider Calyrex, which could be an option, that could be tough, but as long as I can get off this Tailwind, that could be really good for us. So, you know what? I'm going to go Pikachu. I am going to go Pelper here. I am going to bring Basque Legion. And last but not least, having Zacian is going to be great for us. So, we're gonna just going to go with Zacian. 196 speed. Very fast Pokemon. Honestly, Shen Pao could be pretty good here, too. Shen Pao could be good, but honestly, I want the Rain Squad here. Considering they have no way of weather control, Rain Squad is going to look wonderful. We're just going to have to watch out for Rillaboom. Big time hitter, especially with Grassy Glide and that terrain. We gotta watch out for that, but I do have Pelipper. Hurricane's dropping. We love it. We're looking to fake out turn one here and set up a Tailwind. So hopefully they don't go into their Tailwind setter. Or even Shadow Rider Calyrex it could be scary. That could be scary because Pikachu does not have a Focus Sash. We gotta remember that. Pikachu does not have a Focus Sash. They're gonna end up going into Latios and Amoongus, which is a little tougher on our end, right? Definitely a little tougher because they could just spore me. You could just spore me. I'm gonna fake out the Amoongus here. And honestly, just go into a Tailwind. We'll go Tailwind for Tailwind here. So I'll fake out the Moogus. We will go for a Tailwind. Pikachu chilling here with his hat on. I think Latios does go for a Tailwind just like us. And we're just going to fake out the Moogus here. Just not deal with any of its nonsense. It does have Rocky Helmet. This thing is going to pop an Icy Wind. So Icy Wind, not too bad considering we do have Tailwind up. I'll take that all day. I'll take it all day. So out comes our Tailwind. Um, I'm thinking I'm just dropping a Thunder into Latios. It's not going to do too much, but better than what it could do into Amoongus. Yeah, we're going for Thunder. Right into Latios with the Light Ball. And we'll drop a Hurricane into this Amoongus slot. I'm cool with that. I am cool with that. So now that we have Tailwind up, I don't think this Latios is Rocket Tailwind, considering it is Spam and Icy Wind. But they're just going to go Rage Powder here. So we're doubling down to Amoongus. Can we get rid of it is the real question. Thunder coming out here with the Light Ball. Nothing crazy. And Icy Wind going to fly here, neutralizing our speed. No big deal, taking out my Pikachu. Alright, that's fine. No big deal. So Pikachu gets off one Thunder. It definitely could have did some bigger damage if it wasn't going up against Amoongus or Latios here. But can Hurricane pick up the KO? It does. I'll take that trade all day. So we get rid of Amoongus. We have Tailwind up. My Pelipper is on the slower side right now. But now I could just go into Basque Legion, but I'd rather just go into Zacian here. Yeah, we might as well just go into Zacian. We might as well. So Zacian's going to fly out here for us. Um... Are they going to go into Shadow Rider? Potentially here, right? Shadow Rider seems like to play. And it is going to be play. So Shadow Rider comes out here. Um, Now it's a good time for us to pop a wide guard with our Pelipper. Just to dodge moves and just go after the Shadow Rider, right? So I get an attack boost. I do have speed going crazy. They go for a Stellar Terra. I might. I think Stellar Terra is going to be our play. And we're just going to pop this into this slot. Do that. And we're just going to wide guard just in case. 
we're just gonna pop a wide guard just in case they end up withdrawing Shadow Rider Calyx. That's fine. Who's gonna have to take this Behemoth Blade? It's gonna be Rillaboom. So Rillaboom's gonna have to take this Stellar type Behemoth Blade right to the face here. And we'll move on from there. We shall move on from there. So we need to go up against Shadow Rider Calyx either in Tailwind or with our Basket Legion outspeeding it. It's an absolute must. It's an absolute must. So I'm kind of hoping we can just start KO in here. Maybe KO the Rillaboom with this Behemoth Blade. That could be a big time turn for us. It could be a big time turn for us. He's going to end up protecting Latios. That's fine. I was going to go into play rough into that slot. Good thing I didn't. I end up popping the wide guard. Um, I might want to swap my Pelipper for Basket Legion right now. I'm not sure. It, depend it depends what they do here. It really does. They're going to end up dropping a Behemoth Blade with the Stellar Terror type boost that we one shot the Robo, which is huge. They now know we have wide guard. Um, I could play rough here. I gotta see how many turns are left in rain and how many turns are left in tailwind. That's my one thing I gotta see, because I would love to swap Basket Legion. I would love to or swap Pelipper here. Let's see, because we still have one turn left in Terra. We have two turns left in rain, which is good. And honestly, we're just gonna throw a nice little play rough here to finish off this audio. So I'll go play rough. Um and if I can go for a weather ball, I mean I would love to. Do I go for wide guard just to protect us? I, th I think we do. I think we spam wide guard here. I think we just play safe. It's a protected Calyx. That's fine. We're going after Latios this turn. We are going after Latios. I go for a wide guard. This will help us out up against Icy Wind and Shadow Rider Calyx. moves. And playoffs just going to finish off Latios with Zassia. Coming in hot here in match number one. Another KO. He's one tap. And he's out here one tap. Rillaboom gone. Latios gone. Now we're sitting here in a position like this. Um... Man, what do I want to do here? Well, I think I just gotta have to attack, right? Do I go for a Terror Blast? Because Terror Blast will get a boost. Will it do more than Behemoth Blade? I think it does actually the same. They haven't Terrored yet, have they? Let me see. They haven't. Let's start with Terror Blast. Let's start with Terror Blast here. We'll go Terror Blast, and we will go into... I think we just have to spam Wide Guard. I think we just have to spam it. I do not want to die out, and they just canceled the match. So there we go. Zassian thriving out here in match number one. Let's go. Moving on to our second match. Looking to continue our tear. We are 1-0, and oh, going up against an Okie Doki Ice Rider Calyrx team. Furthermore, they're rocking out with Screamtail, Ting Lu, Urshfu, and Slow Start Reggie Gigas. Kind of a weird Pokemon, but... That's fine. Usually when you see Regigigas, they're pairing it up with Weezing, but I'm cool with that. I'm fine with this. Who should we go in here for elite? Pikachu, Pelipper? I can get down for that. I can get down for that, considering I can pick out the Trick Room user. Um, we don't even need Pelipper, do we? Do we just go Pikachu maybe with like Zacian? Or I could just go Zacian and... I could go Zacian and what's it called? On Chen Pao, but I like to have in the fake out user here. So I'm gonna go Pikachu. I'm gonna go Zacian here for the lead. I just think it's a good play for us. I just think it's a great play for us. We'll bring Shen Pao in the back and actually, yeah, we'll, we will bring Shen Pao because I like having that first turn priority sucker punch. And last but not least, probably Galgic Fire. Boost your energy and the speed. It's tough because Trick Room's a little bit of a problem for us. I mean, I could go Wide Guard Pelipper. That could be clutch. That could be clutch. And you know what? I am gonna do that. That can maybe buy us a turn. In Trick Room, that could potentially win us the match, right? You ever lose a match by like one turn left in Trick Room and you can't protect? Yeah, Wide Guard could definitely clutch up for us. So I'm gonna go into Pelipper. Just having that Wide Guard presence is gonna be good for us. I do like it. And having a Focus Ash could, could be good. Again, can buy another turn in the Trick Room if they do get it set up. But from here, we're going with Zassi and a Pikachu. We got a Helping Hand on that Pokemon. I can fake out turn one. I can start getting after it. But they're gonna go Ting Lu. On top of that, they are gonna go Scream Tail. And I'm just going to fake out the Scream Tail and drop Behemoth Blade into it, correct? Is that a correct statement, Jeans? It's looking like a correct statement. It is looking like a correct statement, and that's exactly what we would do. Fake out the Stellar Terra. I kind of want to. I kind of want to. I might just go into Play Rough into this slot. Deal some damage into this thing, and maybe just KO it, because Screamtail could Terrastalize here into, like, Steel. So I'm actually cool with just ripping into Ting Lu here and reading out what, uh, what Screamtail wants to do. I'm cool with reading it out. So I'm going to go into Ting Lu. I'm going to hope that we can one-shot it, especially with this Stellar Terror type. 
And we're faking out Scream Tail this turn, so we don't have to worry about it. We do not have to worry about it. So let's see what they're going to cook here. We end up Stellar Towering. They're going to go into nothing here. Just going to sit here with Scream Tail. So we could have just Behemoth played it, but I'm cool with this. Player off going to fly. We're going to send it over into Ting Lu, and we're one shot. Yo, Sassy hits hard, man. This thing does not play games. He does not play games. So Pikachu sitting here on the field. Just chilling right now with his hat on next to his ass here. And he's so tiny. <laughs> he's so tiny. <laughs> Urshfu's now going to come out here. Looking a little scarier here. Um, we should be faster than him. But I do like how we could just thunder and maybe just pick up KO. So I'm going to thunder. I'm going to go for Behemoth Blade into Screamtail. And we'll go from there. I mean, Zacian should be faster than Urshfu unless it's truly scarfed. I'm kind of hoping it's not. He just ends up protecting. He ends up protecting. So now Screamtail's going to die here. Just, just, this is just a Zacian show. This is just a Zathian show today. He's taking over. He's taking over. This thing is ridiculous. This thing is ridiculous. It's legit one tap in every Pokemon. I take back what I said. I think I think Zacian's mad right now. I think Zacian's mad that, that I called Zamazeta better than him in Scarlet Violet in the team preview. I, I I think he's mad at that. I think he's like, yo, like, I'm still here. I'm still this strong. And it, he's proven himself why he's this strong. He's just absolutely ripping. But Ice Rider Kylox comes out as their final Pokemon. And from here, I think he's going to Terrastalize. So, you know what? We're just going to drop it. We're just going to drop a Thunder in this slot. And we're going to go into a Terra Blast in this slot. You were Terrastalizing this Calyrex all day long. Honestly, if you don't Terrastalize it, I'm going to be upset because Behemoth Blade would just KO it. But you're Terrastalizing it. See? Come on, man. That's way too easy. That's way too easy to read. That's way too easy to read. Come on, man. That's too easy. Going into Ground Terror type. That Terror type's okay as well. Luckily, I didn't thunder in that slot. I was thinking about doubling down. I was thinking about it. But Terra Blast going to fly here. That's too easy, man. We're going to say bye-bye to Calyrex. We're going to say bye-bye to you. Not bye-bye to you, but still big-time damage. My attack does drop. Kind of hurts soul. My special attack does drop, too. But I get to drop a thunder with Pikachu with the light ball. Oh, my lord. Pikachu getting after it. Pikachu having some fun today. Pikachu having some fun today. He's going to go for Trick Room. Now we can just spam Glacial Lances. But what he doesn't know is I got Y Guard in the back end. I do indeed have Y Guard in the back end. Um, I think, do we just swap Pikachu? Is that in our best interest? Yeah, we're going to go do this. And we're going to get the sweep because I'm just going to protect you. I'm going to swap into Pelipper just so I can Y Guard. Yeah, I want the sweep. I want the sweep here. I want the sweep. So he pops Trick Room. He's going to go for a Glacial Lance. Pelper can soak that. I can protect with my boy Zassin. And should be thriving here. Yo, I'd love the Stellar Tire type on this Pokemon. Just Behemoth Blade. Oh, wow. You're actually going for high horsepower, which is kind of weird. That is kind of weird. Do I still Y Guard here? I don't think so. I got Focus Sash. There's no need to Y Guard. There is no need to Y Guard. We can just go for Weather Ball and we can just go for Behemoth Blade. So hopefully we still get the sweep. And they just cancel battle. So sweep in match number two. We are killing it. This team is lighting it up. So guys, if you made it this far in the video, make sure you guys are subscribed. Over 50% of my viewers are not subscribers to the channels. And if that's one of you guys, come on, get on top of that. You've been watching this long. I really appreciate it. On top of that, if you guys want to support me a little bit extra, you guys can become a member. Huge shout out to all my members. I really do appreciate all you guys' support. And there is a donation link down below in the description. So, again, not, not mandatory. Not mandatory. But if you guys want to become a member or donate, links are down below. Links are down below. But another thing I want to go over is a huge shout out to the team creator, Soul Rain. Forgot to give you a shout out. Huge shout out to you, my guy. If you guys want to check out Soul Rain's channel, again, link will be down in the description below. But we're going up against a Gargonackle team with uh, Eternatus. Yeah, that's Eternatus. I didn't know. If I was pronouncing it wrong for a second. But uh, they also got Kalamura, Wo Chen, Grimstar with Shreens, and Latios. Okay, so from here, uh, they don't have any weather, which is good. But they can set up screens. They can set up screens, which I do not like. So I might just want to dump on... Uh, I might just want to dump on Grimstar on turn one. So I'm going to go into Zacian, and I'm also going to go into Pikachu. And then in the back end, we are going to end up going... I think Zacian could be good. No, you know what? We're going in with Rain Squad. They have no weather control. They have no weather control. So we're just going to go Zassi and Pikachu out here for the lead. And then we'll have Basket Legion and Pelipper in the back end. Something I like. I mean, chances are they lead Grimmsnarl. And if they do, I'm just going to Behemoth Blade with the Stellar Terror type. Just to KO through the screens. 
So they only get off reflect, not light screen. So that could be good. That could be beneficial for us. We really don't want them getting off both screens because at that point, they're just killing it from there. Everybody knows double screens is tough to kind of get through. But we're looking for a win here. We are 2-0. Beautiful 2-0. Absolutely killed it. But they don't even go Grimstorm here. I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. I'm able to go Pikachu here. Um, I think we just double down a lot of Yost, right? Take out, take out kind of combo because they might want to set up a Tailwind. We don't want you to set up a tailwind. We honestly don't want you to set up a tailwind. So we're not gonna we're not gonna terrasize. We're just gonna fake out take out here. And without the stellar tire type, we should be fine here. We should be fine. And Glamora's gonna go for the spike shield. I didn't want to fake out Glamora considering it's just gonna set up toxic spikes. So that's fine. We got a free KO turn one. We're missing play rough. Oh my lord, yo. RNG getting after me again. Getting after me. I hate this game. Now I'm going to go for Behemoth Blade instead of Nicomora because you might Terrasalize Latios. You might hard swap it. You might protect it. That hurts the soul. Play Rock, what's your accuracy? 90. You are 90 and you're missing. Come on, man. But from here, we're going to go Behemoth Blade. I'm going to try to drop a Thunder in this slot. I mean, you might swap, you might Terrasalize, and you just protect. See? That's why we sent the Behemoth Blade over into the Glamora slot. We will take the Toxic Spikes. No big deal. No big deal. Later, Glamora. Thanks for playing. Thanks for playing. All right, so we get rid of Glamora here. Toxic debris all on the field. It's all on the field. Gladio's chilling here. Uh, didn't send a Terra this turn. I think it might Terra next turn. I might double down into it. Looking like an annoying Pokemon to kind of deal with. So out comes Eternatus. So Eternatus flying out here. Nice lovely Dragon Poison typing. Um... I like our typing here. We have steel. A player off ready to go. I think I just. Do I trust player off again? I think I'd rather just go into Behemoth Blade here. Honestly, we're just gonna send it to Eternatus. We're just gonna go for a Thunder. I, I think Latios might Thrasslice here. No, he withdraws. That's fine. I'm throwing a Thunder in that slot. That's fine. And you're gonna go into Grimstar. So Grimstar will fly through. I was gonna send a Behemoth Blade in Latios as well. That would've been nice, but Behemoth Blade gonna fly into Eternatus. I'm hitting hard, doing half damage on Eternatus, who's really bulky, actually. And Thunder's landing, can we get a Paralyze? Pikachu, with the Light Ball damage? We love it, Flamethrower's gonna fly here. Gonna do some damage, and did do some damage. The damage flies out here, um... I mean, we're sitting in a really good position. Who would I rather KO here? I mean, we would have to double down into Eternatus, unless I Stellar Terra to KO Eternatus, because they're just gonna set up Reflect, right? And you know what? I'm going to sell our tower here. Just because I know we have speed and I doubt you're faking out, right, Grimstar? You're definitely setting up a reflect. So I'm going to sell our tower. I'm going to look to KO this Eternatus because if I don't Thrasalize, I don't get the damage boost. And if I don't get the damage boost, I don't think I can KO Eternatus through the reflect. Because it did just about half. So it would probably survive on red. So I'm going to sell our tower. I'm, I'm going to play it safe here. I am going to play it safe. I know I'm low HP, but I don't think you have fake out. I think you're setting up screens more than fake out. So out comes the Terra from him. Is this going to be Grimstarl? Now it's going to be Eternatus going into Steel Terra. Perfect Terra type for him. This could actually work out perfectly for him. This is a perfect Terra. I mean, I got some speedy Pokemon in the back end. Reflect does get set up, and honestly, my plan would have worked out fine if they didn't have Steel Terra. But look how big that axe is on its head. It's ginormous. It's ginormous. Behemoth Blade, how much damage are you doing? Not enough. Real close, though. Real close. Thunder's gonna finish off you, correct? Pikachu getting after. He ain't missing no thunders. He ain't missing no thunders. So get rid of Grimmsnarl. We still have Light Scream, which is good. And we still have the Rain Squad in the back end. So they're gonna pick up a KO, no problem. I can now bring out Pelipper and have Thunder hitting 100%. This is fine by me. I think we're sitting in a beautiful position. Especially with two special attackers out on the field. They only have Reflect, they don't have Light Scream up. So Eternatus loses a little bit of HP here. Um, Pikachu's out speed and a lot of Pokemon. Pikachu's rather fast. And depending on who they throw out here, I could protect, I could set up a Tailwind. And I totally forgot, it's Latios. It's their final Pokemon. Latios is their final Pokemon. Their final Pokemon. So, for speed here, I mean... I could just protect Pikachu, and I think that's in my best interest. Protect Pikachu, go for a Tailwind. Yep, that's my play. I have Focus Ash. Protecting the Peaks. Protecting my boy. So Pikachu gets to protect here. 
He's gonna protect me. Turn this is a perfect turn. Cause now I get off tailwind. Now I have a lot of speed. Unless you're going for it. Yeah, you are. Okay, so we go tailwind for tailwind. All right, that, that's fine. That's fine by me. We match tailwind. That's a solid turn. So Eternatus is one attack away from dying. So we might as well double down into Latios. We might as well double down Latios. We'll go for a Hurricane. On top of that, we will go for a Thunder. And again, Eternatus just dies out here. Let's suppose you're going to fly through here. We have Focus Ash. We survived this all day anyway. And Pikachu's outspeed him, which is huge. Thunder just... It's just awesome with Light Ball. There's that. Dynamax is kind of going to come through here. Eternus is going to KO the Pikachu. Eternus is going to KO itself with a Life Orb. And Hurricane could finish this match off. Maybe. If not, we have Bash Legion to finish off this game. But this team was insane today. Zassian doing Zassian things. Pikachu. Surprisingly doing Pikachu things. Amazing. Fake Out. Thunders. I think those are the only two moves we use with it. But they work perfectly. Doing big time damage flinching opponents, and we leave Latios on 1 HP. Come on, man. 1 HP? And I don't even have Aqua Jet. I don't even have Aqua Jet on this thing. Even though we're still out speeding. Aqua Jet's just always good to have. And yo, I forgot about the Toxic Spikes. I forgot about the Spikes. But from here, we will drop a Hurricane, and we will just go into a Lasher Specs here. To finish off the match, so that's gonna be a 3-0 perfect record. No problem, man. No problem. You give me Pikachu, I give you guys 3-0 perfect record. That's all I need. That's all I need is a Pikachu. That's all I need in competitive play. Pikachu. Give me Pikachu 3-0 perfect record all day. And it's funny because usually like when people record Pikachu videos, they're like, oh, like we'll use it for just this one match because Pikachu's honestly not that good. But this team right here, I was able to use it in all three of them. Just because of the way the Pikachu was built. Fake out, nice little support, worked out perfectly with Pelper, just everything worked awesome. But from here, we just go for last respects. They're protecting it matter. We take out Latios all day long. There it is, 3-0. What more can you guys ask for? There you go, ladies and gentlemen. Domination in today's video. Zacian and Pikachu absolutely thriving out here. The rest of the team, great as well. I don't think we used Shen Pao in today's video, but I did bring it in a battle. But Pelipper at Basket Legion is just a great back end set to kind of pair up with teams, especially teams that are not having any weather control. Pelper Bash Legion just out speed. I can set up Tailwind if need be. They do big time damage in the rain. It works out perfectly. But guys, that is going to be for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spend some positive day, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.